Yo guys, what is up? This is Tom from Unreal Meta and in this quick tutorial I will show you how to make fake buildings in Blender. So let's start by pressing Shift A and get a texture from a building. I will take a skyscraper texture that I cut out before. Okay, nice. I added the texture. Now I can scale this up. So yeah, make it really big like this. Then go to the third perspective and put it over there, the edge, or like you want it. And the next step is to first deactivate all these bad shading. This is when you have the plugin import images as a plane. But if not, then you have no problems. The next step is to cut out all of these windows. This will take some time, but it will look really good. So press Ctrl R and then just set loop cuts without the magnet and do that with all of these windows. And now you have to select all of these windows. Okay, and now comes a very important step most people skip when using this technique. So we have to create a new material, let's call this windows and assign this to our windows. And now we can go to shading and to our skyscraper texture and copy the texture and paste it to the windows, then assign it and it looks the same now. But we want that the windows are shiny, so add a bit of metallic, lower the specular and lower the roughness as well. And you can look around how it looks, if you like it or not. I will make them not as shiny. This is okay. And for the next step, you go to skyscraper and just remove all the specular. Let's fake some ambient occlusion by copying this texture, pasting it, and then go to none color, get a mix RGB node, plug it in here and go to multiply, then multiply it by this and you get yourself some fake ambient occlusion. This will be very useful in the step that we do now. So go to edit mode again, select the windows, shift G material, and you got all of them selected. Then press alt E extrude faces along normals and extrude them in. This looks fine. Then you can bevel them by pressing control B just a little bit again, and then select these areas by shift G area. What you can do now is extruding them too by Alt E, extrude faces along normals. Again, just a little bit and play with the strength. Then again, beveling. Okay, this looks fine. And we are basically ready. So now you can look at the ambient occlusion again and it changes a lot, it looks way better. And what you can do now is going to the third perspective again, copying and pasting it, activating the magnet, and just drag this texture up, copy these two walls, paste it, and rotate it by 270 degrees. Okay, this should work, and now just drag it over here, and go to your camera, change the focal length to something like 85, then press N, go to view, camera to view, and move it like this. So the building looks very, very big. What you can do now is make it a square format. So 2000 by 2000 and just place the camera in an angle how you want it. And there's basically only one step left. So go to world, get an HDRI, then get an environment texture and load in your HDRI, plug it into color. And now you have it. Change the render engine from EV to cycles, to GPU, or if you have a strong CPU, you can leave it. Rendered view. It would be very good if you take a city HDRI where are skyscrapers already and then you can just render out your image play some birds or stuff and you have a very very nice looking building and you can do this with every building 
I will show you the final result now and I hope you liked the video. If yes, leave a thumbs up. If no, leave a thumbs down. I'll see you next time and bye.